All right, good morning, guys. I think this is day five. Spent a lot of time on trying to get on that tall brown time buck yesterday. Went through his bedding area, figured out how he bedded. I might come back to him the, the last morning and give him a shot then. This morning I plan on poking around and doing some more scouting here and see if I can get on another deer. All right guys, we're headed in for an evening sit. We're in a new area. Uh, two properties that I really like in particular. And tonight we're just heading in for an observation stand, or observation sit tonight. This property is probably the most diverse property and probably uh, two, two or three square miles here. Um, hopes are high just to get my eyes on something to target. That tree right there is the tree I'm gonna be sitting in tonight. Finally up in the tree. It's been a long time since I've been up in a tree. Just overlooking this entire area tonight. Most of this looks like it could be bedding, especially along the transition of the cattails here. I got some trails below me, quite a few trails below me observation stand, but anything could happen. It's the second nice book I've seen yet. Wow. The freaking giant.
Alright, good morning guys. Last up that nice buck last night. Hoping to make an observation sit this morning. Making a move. Hopefully uh, he gets a chink in his armor and we can make a move. See you guys out in the field. Forgot to mention that I ran into a guy out there who's been hunting the same buck for the last several days, Dan. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Uh, he said he was hunting the location where I glassed up the buck last night, so it seems like this buck, when you zig, he zags. He's pretty cagey. All right guys, just arrived at the spot. Found a free shower. Free shower in seven days. I'm not gonna bring in the camera gear tonight for that buck. It's, it's gonna be a challenge getting in there. So, the less distractions, the better tonight. Uh, I will give you a little bit of a breakdown of the setup here tonight. Well, last night, he was bedded right here in that location. And he went out to feed on top the ridge and he got to about that point and then turned around and went back to his bedding. So my plan is to set up in that little uh, ditch type area. I'm not sure if it's going to be by that tree or I'm not sure 100% how it looks in there. And we got a south wind tonight which makes sense why he would be bedding there again. Because wind will be coming from his back. We can look at the valley below. And hopefully he, I can get set up right there on the ground. Hopefully he makes it right there and looks like on X would be about a 30 yard shot. Just wanted to add since we're talking strategy here that uh, that's where that buck was last night. I'm looking and setting up somewhere in that yellow spot here tonight. Going in after that buck tonight. A little bit first time I've been nervous for a hunt in a long time. Pretty jacked up. Like I said, I'm just filming off my phone, so sorry if the footage isn't great tonight, but that's the way it is. You're chasing mature bucks sometimes. You're hunting from the ground and you're by yourself. Alright guys, first objective is to get to those trees, right? It's bedded right there. No luck tonight, but I'll tell you what, that's not a bad view. Not a bad view. I'm proud of myself. That was a heck of a job getting in here. It took me like two hours, so. Well, that's the way it goes. He won that matchup. Obviously I wasn't able to get on that buck, but it was still one heck of a chase trying to get after him. I don't hunt just to harvest animals, I harvest for the experience and 
having the ability to get close and interact with them. Overall, it was a great trip out in North Dakota. Uh, met a lot of great people. The people of North Dakota were fantastic. Love their management system. Saw a lot of good bucks out there. Just have a couple channels that I want you to check out. I'm gonna link them in the description below. One channel uh, is the Buck Psych. Robert Loper has an outstanding channel. I love his motto, all you need is a weapon and your brain and you can get on some bucks. And another channel to look at is Take Em Outdoors, their new channel just starting up. Uh, they were out in North Dakota and had a couple uh, kills out there so that was pretty cool to see. They got on some good bucks so yeah if you guys uh, like our channel, subscribe, like, share, tell your friends about it. And uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.